Hey scholars, it's Miss Van Buren. I'm back for Tuesday and I'm going to go through this first problem with you that the district has for the packet and you that will help you be prepared to go through the second question it's asking you. So we're still working with volume and irregular rectangular prisms and let's start with this question. It says, Grace made a model of a skyscraper. What is the volume of Grace's model. So let's change that to say Grace. Use unit cubes or grid paper to support your thinking. So if you have blocks at home, you can go ahead and try and make a model of Grace's figure. But I see the dimensions here, so I'm just going to use my paper. So what the district did was they helped you kind of chunk this problem into different steps. And the first step says, how can we separate Grace's model into two rectangular prisms to find the volume? So when you see a rectangular prism that's irregular like this, you always want to think, how can I break this apart? And it looks like what the district did was they broke it apart right here and they turned it into prism A and prism B. So when you have your own problem, your first step is to always think, how can I break this apart into two rectangular prisms? That way I can use my volume formula. Now, they want to calculate the volume of just base A. And they gave you the dimensions here. So we know volume is length times width times height. So 5 times 4 times 2. 5 times 4 is 20. 20 times 2 equals 40 cubic centimeters. And that's the work they showed you here. So your first step, cut it. Second step, find the volume of A. Now let's go to our third step. We're going to find the volume of B. So for B, the new dimensions are 6, 5, and 2. So when we're figuring that out, we have 6 times 5 times 2. Um, I'm going to do 5 times 2 to get 10 first because that's an easier number for me to multiply. And 6 times 10 is 60 cubic centimeters. So now I have, I figured out the volume of just the bottom and just the top. So in order to figure out the volume all together, I need to add these two volumes together. So 40 plus 60 equals 100 cubic centimeters, which is what we see right here. Following these um, steps is going to make this a lot easier. So let's take a look at the problem you're going to solve today on your own. Marquise and his friend Lynn each made a model. Lynn says her model is larger than Marquise's. Is she correct? So we have Marquise's model on this side and Lynn's model on that side. And our job is to figure out is, Lynn mo is Lynn's model bigger? The district does have you go step by step just like we did in our practice problem, but it's your job now to figure out um, the volumes. So I can't wait to see what you guys get for your answers. Remember, you can um, send the packet back to school. You can send me pictures of your packets so that I can help you each day. It's totally up to you. Good luck, guys.